If you own a crock pot, learn how to make bone broth in a crock pot. Bone broth is the in thing now with health buffs and the health benefits are highly rated. You can sip on it as a beverage. Use it as starter for your soup and sauces, or in several other recipes. What this means, therefore, is that learning how to make bone broth would surely be beneficial to you. Although there is some commercial brand bone broth. A lot of health enthusiasts are skeptical about what goes into the brew. So we figured that if you want to be healthy then go all out for it. However, you can get some trusted brands if you are not up for the hassle of homemade bone broth. Now on to how to make bone broth in a crock pot. How to make bone broth in a crock pot, ingredients and equipment needed. A crock pot. Strainer. Large bowl pot. Bones from chicken, beef, or any other meat. Vinegar. Water. Vegetables this is optional. Salt and pepper. Steps to make bone broth in a crock pot. Place the bones in a crock pot, add water and apple cider vinegar. Ensure that the water covers the bones. Coarsely chop whatever veggies you choose to use. You can either throw the veggies directly into the pot with the bones or tie them in a pouch before placing the pouch in the pot. Season with salt and pepper. Set your crock pot on low and cook for about 24 hours. You can do it for less or more. Some people like to start out the broth at night and leave it to stay overnight in the next day. When the broth is done, let it cool for about one hour and then skim off the fat that has gathered on top of the broth. Then use a strainer to strain the broth and store as desired. Bone broth would keep in the fridge for about a week while it can be stored in the freezer for months. Expert tips. Don't bother to peel any of the veggies as every part of the veggies add more nutrients to the broth. The peel of onions gives the broth a beautiful golden color so don't peel it off. Don't be afraid of using the vinegar as prescribed by whatever recipe you are using. The vinegar would help to draw out the collagen and other nutrients from the bones. Ensure you use bones from organically raised animals or else the objective of your bone broth would be compromised. You can pre-bake the bones you want to use in the oven for about 15 minutes. This would help enhance the color and flavors. Some folks swear by this step and insist that it mustn't be skipped. Well, at the end of the day, you choose what works for you. Do not be afraid to add enough water as the broth would not boil over since it is set on low cooking. It's better not to season the broth with anything other than salt and pepper at the onset. This would give you the freedom to adapt the seasoning to whatever food or recipe you want to use the broth for. Since bone broth is such a valuable food item that can be used in various recipes, it pays to always have it at hand. And, considering the time it takes to make it, you might as well make a large batch at a go. But, this would only be possible if you have a large crock pot. Should that now stop you from using the crock pot you have? By all means no. Go ahead and use what you have to make this healthy delight for you and your family. Additionally, arm yourself with tips on how to clean the crock pot. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also, drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details. Visit our site hotpot4u.com for more cooking tips like this.